I studied the effects of an introduced parasitic nest fly on Darwin's finches in the Galapagos, and I'm also interested in how to control these parasites. Falernus downsi is an introduced parasitic nest fly to the Galapagos that is devastating Darwin's finches, which are endemic species of birds in the Galapagos Islands. The adult fly is non-parasitic, but it lays its eggs in the nests of birds. And once the fly eggs hatch, they develop through these larval stages where they're feeding on the blood and secretion of the baby birds in the nest. So there's been many studies that have looked at the effects of these flies on Darwin's finches and other species in the Galapagos, and all of them have found devastating effects of the fly. Some years when the fly parasitizes the nestlings, there's 100% mortality, meaning all nestlings die. So there is an urge there, we need to find some way to control this fly before it drives any species like the mangrove finch, which only has 100 individuals left, to extinction. So I was sitting on my balcony at the Charles Darwin Research Station, and I was just looking through pictures that I had taken that day, and I saw a female finch coming to my laundry line, and she was pulling off frayed fibers from the laundry line, flying away, and yeah. presumably incorporating the fibers into her nest. Well, that season I was also finding human-made materials in the nest, such as you know, frayed fibers from towels, used toilet paper. So these ideas came together over about a year or so, um, and I thought, well, I wonder if I could just treat cotton balls with an insecticide that we've been using on this parasite for many years and give, it, give these cotton balls to the birds and have them uh, treat the nest themselves. We actually did an experiment where we tested this method um, and we found that birds that incorporated this cotton treated with the permethrin uh, had significantly fewer parasites than nests that, were, that had cotton treated with water. And in fact, if the birds incorporated at least one gram of cotton, which is about a thimble uh, full of cotton, it reduced the parasite numbers to essentially zero. People in Australia are actually using this method on an endangered species of bird there that is being affected by the parasite. So I think any system that is being affected by these nest parasites uh, where the birds will incorporate human-made material into the nest, it, it's you know, a very applicable method.